Our first finalist today, step out contestant number two. Our second finalist today, contestant number four. Our third finalist today, contestant number seven. Our fourth finalist today is contestant number nine. And our fifth finalist is contestant number 14. With so many important issues in our world today, should or shouldn't the Gay Marriage Act affect the way you vote and why? Good evening. I don't think it should affect the way you vote because you should vote for whoever is the most qualified for the position. That is what you should base your decision on, what you feel the person is going to be able to offer us as a nation is what you should really take into consideration. So I don't think that it should affect the way we vote. The most important thing is to remember that we have to vote. It's our obligation, it's our commitment to our nation. So get out there and vote, period. That should be our main concern is to get there and vote. Ladies and gentlemen, I am contestant number two, Christian, thank you. That question I will take from a service that I've gone to where there is a mustard seed that is this big, but yet it grows into a huge tree. Yes, I believe that it should affect the voting with gay marriages because even if you perceive it to be as something small, that becomes something very large to other people. So everything in life that you or anyone else gives their opinion about as being small, could grow to be that humongous mustard tree that means a lot to the world and to the universe. Thank you very much. My name is Keith Allen. I really don't think that the Gay Marriage Act should affect your vote unless that is something that's important to you. We as Americans, whether you're straight, gay, bisexual, what have you, we have a duty and an obligation to have our, ver our voice heard. It really doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or Democratic or what have you, as long as you get out there and you vote and you make your voice heard. So in my opinion, unless the Gay Marriage Act is your issue, then it really should not matter. Just get out there and vote and let your voice be heard. Thank you. Me personally, I say it shouldn't affect the way you vote because there are so many bad things that's going on in this world today, not only in Russia, but Iraq, but here too, with all the bombing and terrorists and everything. I feel like everyone should vote for who they believe in should be the best one, and that's my opinion. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you now know, I am Daniel Xavier. Let me answer this as best as I could because there are two things that I know that you should try to be politically correct, and that's talking about politics and religion. When we discuss the gay marriage issue, I believe it should affect your vote. As a gay society, we have been silenced far too long to be kept in the dark. This November 2nd, we need to do our civil duty, go out and vote. And when I say vote, that is vote for the candidate who will push the gay issue marriage. And if there is not a candidate out there who can, you vote to the best of your ability, but the most important thing is, is that you use your voice and vote. Vote for going forward just like every other red-blooded American that lives and walks the face of the earth. If you do nothing and do not vote and stay silent, that shows defeat. And as a gay community, we have been defeated far too long not to stand up and ask for our rights. Thank you.